Hi friend, welcome to my channel Odo's Place. My name is Nia Dekachi Deborah Ogidenta and today I'm making this video in a different way. It's a cook with me video. You see how I, how I do it in the kitchen when I'm not doing any other extra video. This is the first cook with me video that I'm doing and I hope it to be exciting for you. If you are watching this video right now, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much and let's start the cooking process. So first of all, I'm going to put the fish that I will use to cook this in the oven. So this is the okra that I'm going to use as we cut. I'll be telling you some little things about it. Okay, so let's get started. So I've washed the okra and now I'm grating it. Okay, let's talk about a little bit about myself. I just want to just you guys as we walk, you know. So I told you guys my name is Onede Kachi Ogidinta. And uh, I'm married to a wonderful man who is from Adia State. In fact, when I was getting married to him, my, my aunties were telling me that why am I going to Ngwa? Uh, they call it Alangwa. Why am I going there and that they used to eat people? But it's a myth that we used to hear. Yes, it might have happened in those days, but things are becoming better. And uh, I've enjoyed my marriage so far, okay? And also, I have three wonderful kids. I have um, Bali, Chim Zurum, and my husband's uh, Diamond Princess. That's what she, he calls him. Okay? And uh, she's just eight months. I've also worked a little in a company that I would say I was successful, but I did my best. Okay? So, but I'm into an affiliate marketing program that also give me, um, that pays me passively which is uh, omega pro if you want to know more about it just dm me because that's not what this video is meant for i'm just telling you about myself and other things that i do okay so i'm into that and that business pays me passively whether i go to work or not i think I ha at least i have few dollars so there's a little thing that most people don't know that uh made me start youtube i know most people be asking why did you really start youtube youtube i've been like a dream since after my uni days i've been saying i'll start it but the, this fear that i had that made me not start what is the fear the fear of the unknown actually because you don't really know what people think about you uh, you know i'll be wondering how they see me how do they look at my behavior how do they look at what i'm doing because actually I love cooking. Cooking is like a therapy for me. So that's why I even started it. But it was uh, July of this month, if I'm not mistaken, I had to kill that fear and produce one of my first video, which was not best. And uh, I'm so proud that I could take that move and produce that video i'm so proud of it so i i had to go through through that phase i could remember my husband always telling me keep writing keep writing i even got tired of writing if i bring the journals that i used to to write just to show that i'm approved to start youtubing <laughs> it was i wrote something i gave up said that imagine four years from that time till now and i never knew that youtube is this fun in fact even if i'm i'm a growing youtuber there are so many things youtube have taught me it have taught me how to understand myself better it have taught me how to it's not about the money now for me it's about um how to bring up myself from that shell i've been because i've been this kind of person that don't talk much okay but my dear, if you marry, <laughs> if you are married, you have to talk because by the time you say, leave there, come here, <laughs> you 
to be a ball game. This one is not the one that they will say, I don't use to talk. You will talk. If you don't talk, things will be spoiling in your eye. And you imagine yourself, you imagine yourself saying, Ah, I was here oh, and this one spoiled. You know? So I was that kind of a person growing up. I don't talk about it. But I'm happy today that I could take that move. That's just basically about me. And uh, if you want to know more, you can also write in the comment section and tell me what i didn't say that you want to know money will be wondering why am i grating my okra seriously i don't really like chopped okra i prefer grating it because i want it uh, grated okay i don't want it chopped i don't like biting it even if i want chopped i have to mix it let's say i grate half of this then i slice the other half what do you guys think about uh, the Nigerian politics of today? Even if you are not from Nigeria, at least you watch the news, you get to understand what's happening. Have you noticed that the politics of today have changed? The dynamics of how things are being done have changed seriously. And uh, it's like the youths are taking charge in politics. At least they now want to take back their country. Their eyes have opened so many things. If you notice for this few months, so many things are looking like the government are waking up, they are trying to catch those who are stealing and those who are not stealing. Just tell me in the comment section what you think, okay? And if you are watching me and you have not subscribed, it's not fair. It's not fair. Just click the notification bell and subscribe, okay? If you watch some of my videos, you hear me say, remember that whoever tastes your meal, have tasted the goodness of your heart cooking is something you should do from your heart not because every other person is doing it is a thing that is done from your heart that's why if if you enjoyed making your meal basically to be to be transmitted in that food and anybody that tastes that meal will know that you did it out of love you did it out of love so Cooking should not be something that everybody sees as a work. Because if you get everywhere in order, it doesn't take much long to prepare what you will enjoy. I'm not saying that every time you, you, you can you might not go outside to eat. No, I do go outside very well to eat. But I still love cooking. It didn't it, it didn't stop me from loving to cook. I still have that passion for it so yes you might not really like to cook but that's one day that you have decided that you want to cook give it the best give it the best you can give it and enjoy it i think we've bonded a little more okay let me not give everything that i have in this little head of mine so let's just start cooking I've used the okra pillow because I don't want to talk much when I'm really preparing the food. I just want to tell you what I'm doing at a particular time. And this okra, the way I'm going to prepare it, will just be simple that everybody could understand with the ingredients that you find around your home. If you think you you want to know more about this beautiful lady here, comment in the sex, comment section and you'll know more about it, okay? So I'll still add this into the soup, but I'm going to wash it, remove the head because there's always sand in this head. I'll pour it into the soup, apart from the crayfish that I'll still add inside, okay? For the meat I'm using for this, I'm going to add it inside. It's not so much meat. And I have my half grated onions and pepper, which I'll still add inside. Some salt for this. Then this is my local mix spice okay if you want to know the things i used to mix this write in the comment section below then i'll give you i'll give you the recipe for this local mix okay then i'm gonna stir it up then i cover it
Now the meat has cooked and I'm going to be adding my panla fish. So this is the fish I told you. I've removed the head. I'm going to pour it in, okay? I'm going to add this to the fish that I can add enough water for this. Also add my oil. Because I added water into this, I'm gonna just spice it up more. My seasoning powder and a little more of my mixed spice up and allow it to cook. Over. Meanwhile, as it's cooking, let me clear up a little bit. I got this fresh mushroom at CND Fresh Oyster Mushroom. It's not an advert. I just wanted to tell you that if you need this, you can get it from Abuja here. Fresh and nice. Okay? Delivered to you. Or you go to their farm and pick it up. Okay? You get the I will add the okra. Then I will stir it properly. This is my mushroom. I don't want to slice it. You know this mushroom before you know it's already soft. At this point, I will check for salt and it's very okay. Sorry, I didn't see the clip where I added my pumpkin leaf. That's the vegetable I used for Finally, this soup. Finally, our delicious okra soup is ready. Beautiful. It is beautiful. When you cook finish, eh, always bring out down the soup immediately because you don't want the heat from the stove top to keep heating the pot, okay? So that it settles on its own. So we are done with this cooking. Wow, it's been a wonderful time doing with this cook with me video with you all. And I enjoyed the time I had with you people. I thank you all that I was able to give you people value. And I know you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this period, please subscribe to my channel, support your girl by sharing and give me a thumbs up and a comment. Thank you so much. I love you all. I'll be doing more of these videos, but not every time, but more of it, okay? Thank you for supporting your girl. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.